Hello everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome to a, or Average Investor in this case. Uh, welcome to another video. Uh, so no live stream today, but I thought I would still do a video. I haven't done an investment video in a while since I no longer was under my contract work and was not working. <laughs> um, so I thought what I would do today is kind of show what's been going on with my investments. So obviously, number one with investments, right? Especially if you become unemployed, it's good to be able to lean in them. Um, in regards to paying things. So needless to say, cashed out the majority of my investments, um, which were, as you guys had seen earlier, were up to basically cover my bills and all that stuff. So after all was said and done, and things are now in a, we'll just say a better spot. Um, I uh, had some leftover cash after straightening things up and doing financial planning for the next I think it was nine months is what I'm concerned about. Um, no, the up up until April of next year. So all everything set aside for going as far as April of next year, just in case. But um, long story short, realized that after I did my monthly, this is how much is for food and bills and all that stuff. Um, I realized, hey, I still I, I had a couple grand left over. Um, and I'm like, well, instead of letting it just sit there as a buffer or a runway, just in case, um, my runway goes till April of next year. So what's, what am I going to do with the extra 2,500 bucks? Well, let's, let's put it back into investments. Now, one of the things I was concerned about was the fact that the company I was using for my investments was charging me almost $10 a, a, a purchase. Meaning whenever I bought a stock, they charged me 10 bucks. If I bought two stocks, they bought, they charged me 10 bucks. If I bought 500 stocks, they charged me 10 bucks. Then I was looking and I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to be buying around 20 some odd share, 20 different companies. I think it's 25 companies, I believe it is. And I came to the realization that, you know, it's almost 250 bucks that I was going to get charged for purchasing stuff for retirement and and down the road and i was like well that's not fair so i started looking around um here in canada we have a company a friend of mine um sent me in the direction i looked into it and a lot of stuff because he uses it um and it's called wealth simple well here it is here um so i moved over my investments to it um <laughs> and so far so good um, it's not as good as my previous, um, stuff set up, but yeah, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, I was with, uh, Scotia iTrade. So the UI for them was very, I mean, you paid for what you got, right? Like I was paying for stuff and they would track your stocks, tell you how much money you were making per month. Um, and just dividends alone, if you wanted to know that, if you wanted to know all sorts of different stuff, like you could pull out spreadsheets and graphs and all sorts of stuff if you wanted to. Well, simple, very, very, um, limited to what you can do. As long as, since I'm a Canadian trading in Canadian, um, uh, stocks and money, I don't get charged for anything. Um, the moment I want to buy an American stock or a non-Canadian stock, um, then there's fees and all that stuff, which is to me is perfectly fine. Um, I don't really tra trade in American stocks anyways, just because if you've watched one of my previous videos, it's not profitable for me at this time in juncture. But yeah, so, you know, I started going through a whole bunch of stuff and set up my list of stocks and got into them. And here we go. So these are all the stocks I'm currently set up with now. Um, so this has been going for about two months now. So we're up 119 bucks for the majority of shares. Um, as you can see, you know, a couple of them, not so much, but what are you going to do? Um, you know, it's not never guaranteed. The, the stocks I picked, uh, mostly were, are good are also based on things like the dividend. Um, like for example, I have one here that pays 18%. Uh, <laughs> um, the share has gone down over the last little while. Not too concerned about that. Um, but overall, yeah, so this is what I'm kind of sitting at. I've got some, you know, financials, AKA some banks, some consumer discretionary, consumer staple stuff. Um, it's a really good mix 
than what it was before, where it was mostly financial stuff. Um, so we've moved away from that a little bit. I mean, yeah, I still have some financials here, some financials there, and some ETFs. But overall, pretty good. Um, I like it. Everything seems fine. The market hasn't opened yet. Um, actually, it just opened 13 minutes ago. But uh, nothing is updated. It's and yet it takes 20 minutes to update. That's why this might, you might see this tick today already. But I think it's a little bit behind here. Um, you'll notice also there's a difference between the personal amount here. It's 3,049.06 and here, which is 3,042.15. That's because this includes the trade balance. And wow, my kid's freaking out in the background. Um, he's having a bath. <laughs> it does not... Babies are like cats when it comes to bats. I don't know what it is, but I'm not going to get into that. So yeah, so, so far so good. I just want to give people a heads up because I had a couple people ask me like, what's going on with your investments? How come you haven't posted a video in a while? And yeah, there you go. Um, you know, here's a list of all the dividends that have been paid out over the last little while. It's not that much. Um, you know, it's only 16 bucks. I know it's not the, you know, the seven, 800 that was before. But, you know, life uh, life makes changes and you got to set it up for it. In addition to all these things, I wanted to point this out. I started mining Bitcoin. Um, the price you're looking at right here is the overall price per Bitcoin that I've been mining. Um, I don't mind much. I mine a little bit when I'm not using my computer. Um, I've got it set up so it's really, really efficient and it's not really utilized that much on my, my power. Uh, long story short, I have my own power. <laughs> um, I use solar panels and things like that on my home, so I don't pay an electric bill. Um, so most of this comes just out of my battery. So to me, it's actually f almost free money. Um, yeah, a little bit of wear and tear on the old computer and I mean old computer. So it's no big deal. I actually took this thing out of my, uh, my basement by my furnace, took it out and cleaned it all off and set it aside. It's actually my old, uh, streaming, uh, slash encoding machine so those of you who remember uh, when i got the computer i'm on now um what i would do is i would run all my games and stuff like that on this computer because it was way faster and more powerful and then my secondary computer which would have a capture card would then capture the video and audio because the mic was connected to that and a lot of stuff and there was issues with a few things here and there and i decided to just go to with, with a one computer build uh, or one single computer as my computer. Now, because you know, obviously things happen, I was like, hmm. So long story short, got into some mining. Um, I've got a little software down here so I can monitor it. But, you know, after watching it for a while, I was like, okay, that's very interesting. You know, that's pretty good. You know, it's basically money for nothing in my case because solar panels um, up on the roof. If I had an electric bill, I know for a fact I'd have to, I would probably be, you know, this would be probably maybe half uh, the cost just because A, the computer is really old and B, this is after I've already sold some for the record. Uh, right now I'm averaging around $120 worth of Bitcoin per month, um, which in my opinion is pretty good. Uh, the computer I'm on right now, I sometimes get it to mine um, when it's, when I'm not doing anything. Um, though it doesn't do it often. Oh, hey, there we go. We just updated. Wow, minus 9% off the hop this morning. Holy crap. <laughs> well, something's going on. I got to look at the news to figure figure that out. But, uh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're, wait, why are you at 10%? Oh, yeah, because I you guys pay the most for interest rates and stuff. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys real quick um, what's going on with my investments and um, keeping things up to date. So, so far so good. You know, we've got the nice, almost even pie going a crown. We have two that are at 10%. Uh, the plan is to have everyone equal uh, at around anywhere from, I think, the, I don't want anyone over 3%. So the plan is now over the next little bit to buy more uh, Newton Exploration, some more uh, Prime Dividend, some more uh, Dividend Select 15, basically whatever is at the lowest end, including uh, also Roger Sugar here. Uh, whatever is at the lowest end, or basically whatever's not green, like this green color, gets bought. Um, unless it's red or yellow. Red means don't buy any more. 
um, because overall portfolio wise, your portfolio, my portfolio will be weighted down. So say for example, if FFN here took a massive nosedive, it would bring down my overall portfolio horribly because I have of a hundred out of a hundred percent. This is weighted at 10%. So that would hurt a lot. And same with this one, you can see this one's actually gone down a little bit. Actually it's up today, which is good. But yeah, so the plan is to kind of start leveling off this. I think I've got 24, 36, 9, 12, 34, 15, 16, 17, 25, yeah. So of the 25, the plan is to just slowly uh, level everything off to around 3 to 4%. Because as I get, obviously, more DS, like say, for example, I've said, hey, this is now 12 shares. Wait, why did that not go up? Oh, because it's based on the overall amount I paid. Whoops. Huh. So, yeah, so sorry. So, if I said, hey, I'm spending now uh, $200 on this. So, you'll notice, hey, this is now at 16%. But you'll notice the percent of, a, of everything changes. So, this is always going to be a fluctuating number. But at the same time, you know, I want to get things going. One of the things I'm probably going to be looking at doing is buying some more Newton Exploration. Um, just because this only goes up like a penny and drops a penny. Um, as you can see, right? Like... Yeah, this is it going up four cents, and then down here, it, yeah, it's like up a cent, down a cent. It's uh, pretty good. I bought them because a, they pay eight um, percent every three months, and on top of that, it's a fifty cent share. I bought one, actually. In this case, I actually have two, and I was looking at it going, that's actually pretty. Weird. Like I've never been able to buy a stock that cheap and so small, because I was, you know not having to be charged $9.99 on a 50 cent stock. Or in this case, I think it was, yeah, it was both of them were 50 cents when I bought them. Um, no, 52 cents when I bought them. So yeah, I should have just looked at that. Um, and I was like, you know what? It's not, it's a, it's a dollar. Oh no. If I bought that with my, with, with Scotiabank, that would be $11 and four cents. It could be eleven dollars and three cents, but yeah, I'm, I couldn't. I could not do that with, you know, with 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 Scotia. Um, even if I bought the one the one share of Fraser Lumber, that would be over one hundred twenty dollars worth of shares that I had to buy because it's uh, you know only one. Uh, the one thing in 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 Westons, the one thing in Royal Bank. What just happened? All right, so obviously um, the information that we're getting here was wrong because they just zeroed it out. Yeah, so this is still, this will probably correct as well because this just corrected. Um, or everything just went the other way. Early in the morning, shares you know prices and all that stuff for shares can go like all over the bloody place so but yeah so i just thought i'd give everyone that little update um i wanted to say thank you everyone for watching um don't forget to like and subscribe there's a patreon as well uh streaming will be commencing tomorrow with some more uh stellaris as terra nova or terra prime sorry not terra nova terra prime anyways thanks for watching see you next time Bye bye